me up. Money never sleeps, pal. Just made 800,000 Hong Kong gold that's been wired to you. Play with you. You done good, but you gotta keep doing good. I showed you how the game works. Now school's out. Mr. Gecko, I'm there for you 110%. No, 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 you don't understand. I want to be surprised. Astonish me, pal. New info. I don't care where or how you get it. Just get it. My uh, wife tells me you made a move on Darien. Well, here's some inside info for you. That uh, Euro Flash GQ type she's going out with got big bucks. Well, he's putting her feet to sleep. Exit visas are imminent. So I don't want you losing your place in life. Oh, Jesus. I wish you could see this. Lights coming up. I've never seen a painting that captures the beauty of the ocean in a moment like this. I'm gonna make you rich, but Fox. It's the Investitude Podcast, and I'm down the shore. John, you should see what the sun, sun, sunrises look like here in New Jersey. You trying to mock uh, <laughs> Douglas and uh, oh gosh, uh, Wall Street? Are you trying yeah. to mock up uh, Mr. Douglas? <laughs> yeah, what did he He said something because... Buddy boy, you should see the sunrise. It's so beautiful. <laughs> like, things like that he cares about, right? <laughs> I know he was working in the city, but I'm down the shore. Yeah. So what did he, he said something about selling gold, or what did he, he said? According to I Gecko think he said, had something about I'm going to wire have uh, eight hundred and fifty thousand in Hong Kong gold wired to your account, or some weird thing like that. <laughs> you know, he was basically paying him off for the insider tip about Anacot Steel or whatever the hell it was. And he was with Daryl. Not insider because he didn't get insider. He just did gumshoe work he just followed the guy until he figured out hey the guy left his wallet he's flying to you know bethlehem pennsylvania he's making yeah. a play for steel oh Boy, in <laughs> simpler times yeah, yeah much that simpler was... much slower <laughs> yeah not, that's, no, that's no. whip and buggy times andrew i know well speaking of whip and buggy <laughs> let's speak of whipping <laughs> yeah I saw, I, I whipped my buggy. I whipped the uh, the GE out today. Remember we bought that last week, and you said if they cut their dividend, they'd get rid of Jeffrey ML. Yep. And they, they didn't even dividend. And that's one of dividend. the big reasons they used to get rid of him, by the way. Because they didn't cut it now. But, you know, when he cut it during the crash, when he more or less had to, you know, they were, yeah. you, know, you know, chew your leg off when it's caught in the bear trap kind of thing. Yeah. Um... The uh, a lot of institutional investors never forgave ML for that, and you know his lack of performance over the past you know decade, because um, been nearly a decade now since you know the 0708 crash. Um, a lot of people were sour on him, and uh, you know Tryon Partners and some others were Nelson Peltz company putting a lot of pressure on the board, and the board was probably more than willing to say, you know what. We think we made a mistake here. We're going to move on. Next. Mm. We got well, a I, big... We I got did a next with half bench. my position. <laughs> Didn't hurt your position, did it? No. Nah. And I, you know what? I sold half of it today. I'll keep it because it's got a dividend. I, I can uh-huh. live with that. Yeah. So <clears throat> that was a good way to start off a Monday in the summer. I bet you did like that. Other yep. than the um, sunset, sunrise, excuse me. Yep. I mean, <clears throat> last week, folks, and that's another reason you have to listen to the podcast. Pull up the Friday podcast. I think we had the GE trade, and we might have had Andrew um, that uh, strip club. <laughs> on the, 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 you know, oh, your yeah. buddy Stacy Herbert was asking us, "Did you guys see this?" And I said, "Yes, yeah, Stacy. We did a podcast on it." She's, of course, Max Kaiser and Stacy have their TV show that they do on RT TV. Very irreverent, but very funny. And uh, she said, "You see this?" And I said, "Yeah, Andrew saw it. We did a podcast on it Friday." She yeah. said, send me the link. So I did. And then 
But on Friday on the podcast, folks, we talked about June 28 calls trading for nine cents. All right, they went to um, well, they were sold today for 91. How's that for ten times your money? I like it. And then they bought the June 29 calls, so they didn't just get into these um, for you know, a big score. Now they put a bunch more money, 31 cents more, into the June 29 calls. And that's looking good. So. Well, I still have half. It's a little, you miss a lot if you're not getting the podcast, folks. And then what's this other one you talked about, Joe? Is that a coffee stock? I'm looking this yeah. up. I've never seen this symbol before. Well. J-O. It, yep, J-O. It's an ETN, exchange traded note. So not an ETF, but a note. The, it's a sub-index, basically, of coffee, as you might imagine. And since we got mm. coffee grinds That's right. on the uh, podcast here with me. Yeah, this one, Andrew, it's down 34% since the election. Virtually, at the election, it topped out at 26.20. And since then, it's been straight down. Now, I'm not trying to read anything into that. I'm not saying, oh, Trump's bad for coffee stocks. <laughs> I'm oh, just coming. pointing out a fact that November 8th, this thing was 26.20, I think, and now it's $17. Might be time to take a nibble or at least a look. Um, and they even have options, although they're not very active in Joe. But I oh, noticed so this is this is an unusual activity stock. This is not just, yeah, cheap. not unusual activity. This is not our heat seeker, but. It's worth noting that, you know, you got a 34% decline in a commodity. You know, this isn't, uh, commodities do move like that, as we know with crude oil and gold. But uh, this, is, this is one that's underperforming. I mean, if we put the, this against the uh, USO or uh, maybe, Andrew, the uh, even, uh, gosh, what, some of the, because energy and financials have been weak uh, over the last month. Uh, two months, I'm sorry, um, but are, we're still up from the election um, as far as financials. But uh, energy, no, they've just been heading like into the crapper. Hmm, that's worth looking at. Mm -hmm. And then what's the other one, VXN? Yep, VXN is the VIX of the uh, um, NASDAQ. So if you take a look at the QQQ, that's the VIX of the NASDAQ. Um, and it went from 1350 on Friday to 21 and change today. That is a massive move. Massive. It's only made two moves like that in the last year. One was right after Brexit, the day after. Two was right after the election. And then reversed in both cases. Now, we'll see whether or not this one reverses, but I just thought that it was interesting to see a you know, it's pulled back some now after spiking because when that's one of those fear indexes that when it goes up, it sort of implies that the markets are getting, you know, kind of squirrely. And when it goes up that much that fast, a lot of guys will bet against it, as you know, from your years in the VIX pit. Yep. Okay. And then the last one, you still own this stock, the Nike? I know, yeah. I know, still I know we Nike. like the book. I know if you read that book, Shoe Dog, you got to like this stock. Yeah. And I do. And Nike, um, we talked about it June 4th, I believe it was, Andrew. We had it for unusual activity. Um, I'm still in it. It's up two bucks from then. It's trading through 54 today. I'm not thinking it gets up and goes crazy, but, you know, it's a steady performer. It's up 1.1% today when this morning, you know, just like Friday, the, the tech world anyway was melting and Nike was doing well, so... You know, those kinds of things catch my attention. Okay. So, all right, well, I'm going to enjoy myself. I think it's time to, to get back down to the beach. That's right, old buddy boy, if you could see this sunrise here on the beach. <laughs> Michael Douglas, classic from Wall Street. You might have to grab that clip for the start or something. All right, I'm going to look for that. All right. all right, remember, folks, you can subscribe on iTunes or through YouTube on the Jerry and Thanks for listening. Tell a friend. See you tomorrow.